Hi everyone, and welcome to another Pandera training video. This time, the topic is building and formatting grids in your VI dashboards. You can add a grid to any VI dashboard you open. In this video, we can start from the Category Sales dashboard. Click to add a new sheet by clicking at the bottom, just like Excel. This provides a new tab to contain the grid that we're going to build. As soon as you add the new sheet, an empty visualization shows up with empty drop zones for rows and columns. Attributes and metrics from the dataset objects pane are moved into the row and column drop zones to construct the grid. So to build a grid showing subcategory sales across time, I've placed subcategory and year attributes in the rows and columns respectively. To analyze sales, drag revenue to the metrics drop zone. The order in the drop zones is relevant to the order shown in the grid. So adding the percent of annual revenue metric and swapping the order has an effect in the grid that you can see. Likewise, Moving the metric names placeholder in the drop zones changes the order of the attributes and metric headers in the grid. And if you move it to an entirely different drop zone, then it really changes your grid orientation. Totals are added to grids by clicking on the specific attribute you'd like to total. Thus, to add a total across the subcategories, you click the drop down for subcategory within the grid. Select Show Totals and check the boxes for the totals desired. To emphasize that point, Totals across the columns appear when the user clicks the drop-down for the attribute that's in the columns. In this case, that's year, and chooses to show totals. Note that the drop-down menus within the drop zones on the left display the same options as the drop-downs within the grid. So try out some of the other features on this drop-down menu, like creating calculations or thresholds, and check out other videos specific to those details for more information. The totals might be a bit confusing at first, as you can see what happens when category replaces subcategory in the grid. There's no category level total by default. To again display a category level total, you must add the total for the category attribute to see the total across the categories for each month. Make use of the undo button to get back to where we started and add category as an attribute to the left so that I can demonstrate sorting. To sort the subcategories within their respective categories, Choose the column, but this time select Advanced Sort. With this window, I can keep the category values together alphabetically by choosing the first condition as Category Ascending for the description, and then sort within the category by Revenue Descending. An easy way to scale your work is to duplicate the grid and edit the drop zones for the newly created grid by clicking on it and removing attributes. This way, one grid can show only category level totals, the other can show the lower level details for subcategories. It makes more sense to have the higher level grid on the left. Clicking and dragging grids is done by dragging the, the title bar. An even higher level grid might show totals for the months only. And again, the steps for that are duplicating the grid and editing the drop zones to have the attributes that you're looking for. Grids are formatted individually by using the Properties tab on the left. Fit to Container and Fit to Contents changes how the column widths appear. And under More Options, you'll find Locking Row and Column Headers as well as Merging Row and Column Headers. Locking Row and Column Headers is like freeze pane. As I scroll up or down or side to side, the column and row headers stay in place. Merging Rows and Columns alters whether the value is repeated for every row. Unmerged row headers makes more sense if you plan on exporting the grid contents to Excel and you want to do totaling in Excel. Now you are ready to build any kind of grid in MicroStrategy Visual Insight. Make sure to check out all of our videos to make the most out of your analytical systems.